For this episode of Radom, I'm bringing you an exclusive look at the Fly Genius Patches Denim Suit coming out soon. Let's get it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Legendary La Day. I'm a fashion stylist and sneaker enthusiast from Big Queens, and you're watching Radom on Revolt. In terms of quality, you have your traditional raw denim jacket and jeans set. Its weight is pretty much standard for what you expect for raw denim. The jacket hits right at the waist. Raw denim is one of the best styles of denim because it lasts long and it ages well. And with this being an interchangeable set, you'll be able to get more wears out of it. I'll give it a 4 out of 5 for quality. For details, I'll start with the jacket which features navy raw denim with tan stitching throughout the collar, base, and buttonholes. The buttons themselves are baby blue which I think is interesting because traditionally with raw denim jackets you see silver buttons. Now let's get into the most obvious details which are the various patches stitched throughout the jacket and jeans. You have traditional Vanson Leathers logo in different colors as well as Vanson symbols such as the American flag, the race flag on a clot synthetic patch as well as an EBC brakes patch all tying together Vanson's heritage. I'll give it a 4 out of 5 for details. For desirability slash hype, I'll give it a 3 out of 5 because this is a new denim set that's being introduced but with Vanson being such a well recognized brand, there's a built-in community there. Once the iconic patch logo is on any garment, it's already desirable. For originality, I'll also give it a 3 out of 5 because patches on a denim set isn't a new style but for Fly Genius, this is their first time working with denim in this way. For story, I have Fly Genius designer and creative director of Vanson Leathers Davon Bean to talk more about what inspired this set and his role at Vanson. What's up, bro? How What's you doing up, today? Man. Great, man. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. My pleasure. First off, I'd like you to introduce yourself and what it is that you do to the viewers out there. Right. So my name is Davon Bean. Um, I'm the founder of a streetwear brand called Fly Genius, and I'm also the creative director for Vanson and Leathers. Okay, that's dope. So talk to oh, us. And I'm from the Bronx, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely got to rep where you're from. <laughs> So talk to us about the inspiration behind this denim set. So honestly, the inspiration came as a funny story. I, um, I was working on a, a bucket hat, a perforated bucket hat with all the Vanton patches on it. And then um, I had a, a FaceTime call with um, Jim Jones from Dipset. And you know, we, I was just going over things that I'm working on and things like that. And he was like, yo, you know, it'd be crazy. You gotta do something with the patch. You should put it on a denim suit instead of just putting it on a bucket hat. That would be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like a yeah. real Harlem talk. And I was like, word, that would be fire. So he gave me that extra push. And, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm try it on a denim suit as well. So Jim, I definitely owe you a few suits. Thank you for that. Nah, for sure. <laughs> Can you tell the viewers out there what exactly a creative director is for those who may not know? So a creative director is basically someone who comes in and, and you know, they get hired or freelance for a brand, for a company. And it's kind of like giving a roadmap to a company, like creative mm -hmm. roadmap, like come up with cool campaigns, collaboration, designs, and you know, you just basically help elevate the brand. So that's kind of what my role is, yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's your day-to-day -day like as the creative director of Vancey? My day-to-day -day would be, you know, I talk to the founder probably maybe three or four times mm -hmm. a week. Um, we go over the roadmap that I created, you know, we kind of touch a base on it, you know, maybe switch up some things and then, you know, talk to my design team, go over cool designs that we bring into fruition. And it's like, honestly, it's, it's a seven day a week job. You know, every day I'm just always working, even on my phone, emailing, coming up with concepts, having design meetings, going to the factory in Fall mm -hmm. River, Massachusetts. So. How do you juggle your role at Vanson with your own brand, Fly Genius? Like, how do you know which idea you want to give to Vanson versus what you want to keep for your brand, Fly Genius? It's always a tug of war, man. Because, um, you know, Fly Genius, that's my baby. I'm the founder of that. But also, mm -hmm. I love Vanson just as much. So, and this partnership with Vanson started off from me doing collaborations with my brand, Fly Genius okay. and Vanson. So it all depends on the timing and the actual product. Okay. And Vanson is known for collaborations, as you just said, and you just coming off of a successful collaboration with influencer and fellow stylist Alele May and Stadium Goods. Mm -hmm. How do you approach collaboration? I, I kind of go off the energy and the creativity, you know, like collaborating with Alele May was pretty smooth because I feel like we like-minded in a lot of ways and it was so, everything happened organically. The design process, creative process was cool. So it depends on, you know, the person and I just go about uh, 
the where fashion is at the at the time, where like my creative mind is at the time, and then I just reach out to some of my resources and figure out how we could collab together. And what's next? What's next for you and Fly Genius? What's next for you as the creative director of Vancing? Well, we have a lot of things for for uh, Fly Genius. We had a partnership with Urban Outfitters. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of inspired, so we're looking forward to renegotiating that. Um, for Vanton, we have the 50th year anniversary is coming up in 2024. Okay. So I'm working on a documentary. Hopefully, we can pick uh, Netflix or one of these big, you know, networks. Pick those up, and also the first Vanton fashion show that I'm doing for the 50th anniversary. And more collaborations. We have a few collaborations up the sleeve. One with um, Dover Street Market that we're working on, and a few other brands. Yeah. Wow, that's dope. Yeah. One last thing, if you could give any advice to any young designers, any young black designers on how to grow their brand or become a creative director at an established brand, what would you tell them? I will just tell them to stay true to themselves, stay creative, definitely don't give up, and just, just keep on pushing forward. You know, learn as much as possible, meet as much people as possible, and you know, things just happen. Things just start happening, and just stay focused, you know. Fashion is, 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 is definitely like a multi-billion dollar industry, mm -hmm. you know, so definitely um, room for everyone, you know. Okay. Yeah. And can you tell the people out there when the set is coming out? So the set is officially, it's available right now for pre-order on the Fly Genius website, but it's going to be available on Fly Genius and also in stores and Vance and Leather's website in December. Okay, thank you. You heard it here first. So for story, I have to give Devon Bean a five out of five. Wow, five, I love that. That's he told us about the origins of how the set was inspired and also what he's coming up with next. Overall, I'll definitely give the jacket a 4.5 out of 5. Love it. I want to thank you for being our first ever guest on Radio. Oh, word, I was the first? Yes. Oh my God, I felt, oh, this is history right here. We appreciate you and we love what you're doing at Fly Genius and Vincent. Thank you. And I love what you're doing here too, man. I appreciate you having me on, man. This is iconic. It's epic. You know, two black dudes coming together and really getting creative and doing it in a fly way. Shout yes out to sir. Revolt, too. Yes, sir. You heard it here first. I'm Legendary Lade. Thank y'all all for viewing. And you're watching Radom on Revolt.